With, with our last set slash two sets of the night, we're going to have Rivers versus Stefan. Rivers sitting comfortably in winner's side. Stefan coming off a hot loser's comeback. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're able to come back three stocks to one as Steve, who can have some, have that X factor, you're feeling, uh, but is generally slow paced, you're feeling pretty good. Uh, and Stefan had an amazing opening play with a TNT, but then Krom on Battlefield. Yeah. I, and I mean, not just any Krom on Battlefield, but it's Rivers who's got some of the best routes in the world. That was quite the way to stall off map, but it ended up working out for Stefan. And the, why? Okay. <laughs> Back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He is swinging out here. Like, Stefan has been... Like, Stefan's not usually the one to just randy forward smash. He does it as a means to bait you in, or yep. does it as a true punish. Yep. This has been just forward smash city for Stefan as of late. I mean, he's he's feeling he's feeling the aster, and he's looking to make it work, though that forward air is a true punish on the whiffed grab. Yeah, I feel like his approach to using the F smash makes a lot of sense in neutral versus a character like Krom, where it's like he's got so much burst speed that he is more likely to actually try to look for that jump in or try to look for that punish. But regardless, James is still just not, he's not biting at the times when Stefan really wants him to. That's definitely showing to be incredibly difficult for Stefan to deal with. Up throw? No, forward throw. Not he'll, he'll, he'll die to next throw, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't just hit him as hard as he could, but I respect it. Stefan getting away with murder a little bit there, and only 35 on the board. That roll in, not going to make it through. Krom's buttons being big enough to cover Steve roll, honestly something that makes this match a little difficult, it seems like. Going for the up smash instead of the back air variant. Does a uh, does solid amount of damage, gets the stone tools. Burn oh, the air dodge gets him landed on the, on the, on the block. Had the roll read again, but Steve's grab is just pretty slow. Forced to use some of these blocks in a great tech. Yeah. Unfortunately, placed that block a little bit too high. Wanted, I imagine, the setup where you threaten the spike downwards uh, off the missed tech, or you F smash them for hitting the tech. But yeah. regardless, is in a precarious spot. Only one diamond and a dream right now. Hasn't stopped to craft mats. Kind of recognizes that he needs to take this stock as fast as possible. I respect it. That was very good block placement. I would like to see Steve F smash is big enough that you can properly hit Krom for doing up B the way every character in the cast should hit Krom for doing up B. But if you break Krom up B down into a three step process, the initial swing, the rise, and then the spin and descent, you can hit Krom during the rise as every character any day of the week. And I think Steve F smash goes out far enough that Krom couldn't space his up B to make it around that if you're standing far enough. Regardless, Stefan doing a really, really good job here. But Rivers showing that he has the gall to make these plays, but the spot Aww. dodge, and he finds the diamond forward smash. Stefan, I mean, the, the, the headphones are off, the hoodie is off, he is untethered to, uh, to anything. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. he's, he, this Enderman is, Making a run as we go immediately. Town and City is the counter pick. I truthfully, especially as Krom, really love this counter pick because you're taking the consistency of the battlefield uh, material gain. You're taking off Pokemon Stadium where uh, you're going to get a lot of stone and iron. This is all wood, which aside from dirt, which you don't often get, is the weakest material. Yes, absolutely. And not only that, but Steve also is burning at to mine, right? And yeah. that is the button or, or the tool that Steve uses the most in his routes. So it's going to make it a little bit harder for the Steve to just sit on these like high material games where he has diamond and he's not too worried about swinging. Oh, the flat, the, the fall off forward air as a means to keep the, uh, keep the ledge trap going. It's in this position that Rivers really needs to take advantage of, oh, not reacting in time to the whip grab, and yeah. Dash Tack ends up catching in order to reset neutral. I love the scramble buttons that have been coming out from Stefan. Wow, in that had such big range. Huge. Very good stuff from Stefan. Just constantly trapping with that TNT in really good spots. Oh, wow. Just brazen. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. 
Very good stuff. Destroys the crafting table, not giving Stiffman a time, to, uh, a chance to craft coming off the platform. That's going to be a little bit risky. Has to settle for wood, but we've seen that Stefan doesn't really mind sitting on low materials or bad tools. Now, as long as the damage is consistent, I mean, he's treating it great tech. He's treating it like just normal, almost like normal smash interactions instead of trying to farm for the I most ideal of ideal situations. He sees that. I mean, Rivers is at 125. No need to overextend. He's got enough to take the stock one on him right now. Yeah. And the and the diamond is found. All right, we've got the diamond. We've got the up tilts. Oh, almost finds the conversion. Oh, that's... Uh, things are looking a little bit scary right now for Rivers. This set one really sitting in the favor of Stefan. Yeah, and Stefan... Looked for a punish. That's get, that shield is getting mighty low, but ooh, gets the back into the platform instead of actually getting the F tilt that he wanted. But regardless, maintains that corner pressure. I love that. More people need to use unit collision to move Steve away from the crafting table. Why does town exist? We can talk about that later. Good stuff from James? Question mark. I don't really know. Good stuff to the Smash Brothers Ultimate developers. Uh, for ensuring that you can somehow still die on the town platforms if you miss a tech, even though they specifically noted when releasing the game that that wouldn't happen anymore. I love it. Stop yep. Battle. Here we are. Why is town legal? We should just make Kalos it's one one set of town. Uh, I'm starting it right now. Kalos instead of town. Okay. Oops. <laughs> incredibly, incredibly wrong opinion. Uh, okay. But okay. Uh, town's got to go, question mark. It's interesting because Town is the only reverse battlefield transformation that we have in existence, and reverse battlefield is a really cool concept. Yes. Um, it just sucks the way the platforms move. And, like, I know they're on a cycle and everything, but just how they interrupt gameplay feels very strange. Y'all haven't been capped by Samus on Kalos yet, and I can I've tell. Been, <laughs> I've been camped by Weak <laughs> Diddy Kong. On Kalos. Oh, God. Okay. Trust, Trust me. me. <laughs> Trust me. It's, I, just a like, it's just a better stage. I don't it's mind. It's just a better stage. Yeah, I don't mind, like, the inherent risk of being camped on a map that big as much as I mind the platform going, whoop, 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 and saving someone while I was edge guarding them. Yeah, it's... I mean, stage discussion and stage theory get out of hand real quickly in a matter of potential legal stages and potential options that there are. Because we could have, like, a nine-stage list or something crazy, but... At the end of the day, there is still Battlefield. Oh, he put the he, he put the redstone on, I guess, a little bit later, but yeah. I always forget that you can do that. Down B places redstone when you already have TNT out. You know? Or I think it's just an empty input in the air. Right. This feels like that shenanigans that happened on town was just the wind that Rivers needed in his sails because this oh, yeah. is looking a lot more like game five of winner's finals as that insane downer and then recognizing the blocks save, could save him. Uh, yeah. And as close as we are to this looking like game five of winner's finals, we have to remember what game five of loser's finals look like. Stefan demonstrating that ability to really run things back. So, yeah. oh, unfortunate that Rivers is just going to keep yeah. pushing, keep pushing and the difference, solidify that three stock. The difference being that, I mean, Rivers, Stefan never had control of this game. Like Stefan and uh, and uh, Webb were playing this deadly dance of landing. Like Webb would land a hit, but Stefan would come back and land three more. Yep. Rivers never let Stefan get to that position where yeah. he could get back to center, land a hit. Like not happening. Yep. It's very good stuff. Especially, it's easy to get lost in pushing really, really hard versus Steve because it feels like, oh, he has no hitboxes slash small hitboxes off stage except for minecart. So I've got to just push and push and push forever. Um, but something we see Rivers doing a lot is he's pushing him to the point where Steve has no resources and then settling for the ledge trap because right. Krom's ledge trapping is so solid. Um, and also, Steve struggles on the ledge a little bit. Uh, so in a position where it's often easy to be like, okay, I have to kill this character in this position, uh, you're kind of allowed to let him get away with a little bit more um, in favor of putting him in a scarier position in the near future. Just that one block is threatening up a loan for Chrome Recovery that he had to go for the Soaring Slash. 
Ooh, the that break. That was huge. Yeah, big set of unfortunate interactions coming out for Stefan there. The block placement as well, stopping the minecart approach, just kind of made that one really hard. And River is beginning to run away with this set. I know Stefan can make something happen quickly, but it's just looking a little rough. Yeah, it's, I mean, he's finding a lot of the normal Steve stuff, but that. Uh, and setting up appropriately, but that Stefan X Factor is just feel like it's not all there as it was in sense like Loser's Finals and even before it, where Stefan was able to make the appropriate reads and find the find these combos and find these extensions. But he still has those though on the pop out from the minecart and it's stuff like that you really need to harness as you <laughs> we're on tournament. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. Wow. Doesn't get the uh, proper block placement, unfortunate, whiff there for Stefan. Great edge cancel. Oh, Very I, important. Yeah, I think Rivers was looking for a Nair one on that platform to do exactly that. Yep. But denied the first time and not the second. And the, uh, the push. Yeah. It's always about the little things versus characters like this. It's very easy to get lost in how annoying their game plan might be, but it is equally out. easy to just hit them in the spots where their game plan doesn't work. Yeah. It was and very good stuff. Man, that ended kind of anticlimactically. Like, Stefan felt like he was on such a hot streak and blazing, uh, blazing a comeback in Losers' Finals turning the entirety of game one on its head. Game two was looking so solid. Yeah. Then Town and City happened, and the wind has changed. Yeah, just knocked right out of his sails. But very good stuff. Rivers is going to be the champion of Scarlet yeah. Classic, almost as per usual. <laughs> um, and yeah, very good stuff to all the players. A lot of people playing really hot today. We had a really cool run from KGP. We see good consistency coming out from Malarson, who's been on the rise lately. W always good to see Webb come out here and do his thing. Yeah, trying to pick up a new character. Yeah. I mean, Stefan doing Stefan things. James back and in action. Uh, Rivers, rather, back in action after a, a little hi hiatus of his own. Yeah. And it just it felt like just the, the old and the new and the best of New Jersey Smash. Yeah, absolutely. And even with the people missing, we still had a breath of good talent. So Absolutely. As you hear some of the cheering behind us, that will do it for the Scarlet Classic number seven. I hope you all enjoyed the production, and I hope everyone has a great night. I've been Ubel, joined by Dre. Hello. That's we'll me. See you next time. Hope you all have a good one.